really proud of the guys tonight to be able to come out and uh, and play at that sort of pace on the second game of uh, of sort of your your weekend swings. Particularly, this was a split weekend on the road, and uh, you know we we struggled with that last week. Felt like our guys paced themselves a little bit. Some of our high minute guys, and tonight, I mean, it was it was a pace we want to play at. And when we play at that pace, we we ironically take care of the ball better. Seven turnovers for the game. Um, we talked about being a war in the paint. Um, you know, ultimately we won the, the the rebound war. They did have nine offensive rebounds, but you know we we they missed they missed a number of shots. So uh, so that's something. They're really good there, and you know give them credit with that. They they play extremely tough, um, but this was a good basketball team that uh, that we beat today, and uh, they they've. They had lost nine games during this stretch by nine or less points. They have two of the best guards in the league. And, and, and when you look at the numbers, J.C. Fuller, three for seven, eight points. Garrett Covington, seven for 17. He had 17 points, but we made them both inefficient. And so that was just a, a phenomenal effort by our guys. And, and you know, John doesn't come out of the game much. And you, know, you look at it and you say, oh, John only had two rebounds tonight, but he was guarding Covington, who took 17 shots and did an absolutely phenomenal job on that, making him inefficient. But uh, great versatile uh, and, and, and widespread effort from the guys in terms of contributions. Um, as, as Greg said, I mean, D'Angelo, nine rebounds, uh, really starting to get a feel for the game, for how he want to play, finding his shots. But I mean, I could go down the line of guys that contributed at a high, high level tonight. But re really, really proud of these guys' execution and just committing to the team and just playing a team effort tonight. It's definitely a lot less stressful finishing a game without, you know, the way we've been finishing lately. Um, you know, I think those close games are good for us, but this is good for us uh, also sometimes getting, you know, a little bit of a confidence boost, I think, going into a uh, big uh, travel week this week. So uh, I think uh, overall our team played great tonight. We had a uh, great uh, chemistry out there. Everybody was playing, doing their roles, uh, things they're supposed to do. We had a lot of guys step up off the bench. I know D'Lo, uh, D'Angelo played real well for us and, uh, you know, hitting a lot of open shots. You know, as we've kind of figured out where our chemistry is, um, you know, with, with Almo, we, we've, you know, we've had, we've leaned a little bit more on, on Max and on, on Conchar, and, and we've, I've dictated the game a little more, maybe calling some more set plays in times, but I've only done that when we've slowed the ball down. That's literally been dictated by the pace that our team decides they're going to play that night. When we play fast the way I want to play, the way that we play at our best, they're sharing the ball. It's going to end up in, in a bunch bunch of different guys hands and you know there, there's not a guy on our team that can't make offensive plays and you know those guys are just becoming more and more comfortable I mean D'Angelo no, knows where his shots are coming and you know and he's feeling much more comfortable with that rising up knocking them down same thing with Charles you know same thing with Case same thing with Racine you know I mean even Racine came in and you know we want him to, to block shots change the game on the defense and rebound the ball and he came in and made two or three really really impactful plays in there um, you know, and Brent just keeps getting better every day too. So, you know, all the way down the line, I could compliment a bunch of guys, but it, it, it definitely makes us, you know, more difficult to guard when you have guys like D'Angelo and, and, and you're stretching D's. Uh, yeah. Uh, what we want to focus on was just keeping them out of the paint a lot. You know, they set a lot of screens and, you know, we had to talk a lot. I think it was a big test for, you know, our, our bigs, uh, BC guarding, uh, ball screens. He did pretty well tonight. Uh, and, you know, our guards, it was uh, obviously a tough one for them. You know, they had to do a lot of more work than the bigs did. But uh, it was mainly just keeping them out of the paint and stopping that penetration and kicks, which uh, they, they score on a lot. Those two are real good players.